My name's Edward Jones. I'm the principal of Eaton House International School, Broderick, and I'd like to welcome you to our special and amazing school. The purpose of this video is to introduce our school to our new families, so everyone, everyone knows what they're supposed to do on the first day of school. So you'll be arriving through the main gate of the school, by car, or by bus, or by bicycle, or by scooter, or on foot. And parents will be dropping you off by the main entrance. And the buses will also enter the school through the main gate. And the buses will drop the children by the main entrance. And the children will be escorted then into the main school. Those children arriving by scooter or by bicycle or on foot will be entering through this side gate over here. There's a special area that we have at the side of the school where we keep all the pupil bicycles and the teacher's bicycles as well. So once we, we've entered the school site, of course we'll be wearing our mask before we've arrived here. This area is marked, so when we have the buses arrive, the children will be escorted from the bus and they will wait in these marked areas here by the main entrance and they will take their turn and then they will enter and they will be welcomed. Hi Good Mr morning. Jones, welcome back to school. Oh, well, Let me take your I'll temperature. stand on this square. Okay, I'm just going to record that now for you and show this to your homeroom teacher when you get inside the classroom. Thank you very much. Some sanitizer for your hands, there you go. Fantastic. And I'd like to introduce Miss Megan Dianone, who is our PYP coordinator, who will show you around the school and the classrooms. A warm welcome to you all. So let's take now a closer look at the classrooms within the school. Just this way. Our preschool section for students in N2 to Year 1 can be found on our ground level. So on this side of the building, we also have specialist rooms. On my right, we have the visual arts room. And down on my left, we have the Mandarin language room. Okay. To here to my left, we have the N2 classroom, and we also have one of our K1 classrooms. Let's take a look inside. So here you will see a well-lit, spacious room where lots of great learning takes place. Let's take a look at the outdoor sensory garden. So this is a great space for our students in N2, K1 and Year 1 to get outdoors and play. It's a great place where they can have their curiosity sparked and can do lots of inquiry and investigations. Currently, our sand pit is being covered to protect it, so it's ready for you when you get back to school next week. We have a great staged area and a climbing frame at the back. So, let's take another look on the other side at our Grade 1 classrooms. On this side of the ground floor, we have our two Year 1 classes. Let's take a look at the Year 1 Platypus class. So our preschool has adopted the Reggio Emilia philosophy. You can see this through the materials that are used in the classroom, the natural products, the spacing, and the lighting. So now I'd like to show you our second year one classroom. And this classroom is special to us this year. It's new and it's our year one bilingual immersion program. And you can find that classroom just down here. Okay, so let's keep going. Now if you're in year one and you're in one of these classrooms, You'll use this pathway here to take you out to the toilets. You'll also take you to the cafeteria, the hall, and all the playground equipment outside. Okay, that's it for the ground floor. Let's head upstairs and take a look at the year four classrooms. So if you're in year four, you'll find one of your classrooms here on the second level. Let's take a look at this classroom. This is for the year four polar bears. To my left, we have the year four seals. And if we take a look down the corridor, you can see the year four pandas. Okay, let's jump across now to the other section on the second floor. So over on this side of the second floor, we have one of our Mandarin language classrooms. If you've decided to choose Mandarin as an additional language, then this could be one of your classrooms. Now, if you're entering into the bilingual program, then you'll be taught English and Mandarin 
inside your homeroom classroom. And here we have a general office. So if you'd like to come and see Mr Jones, our principal, or if you need to see finance department, or you want to come and meet me, then you'll find me here in the general office. So on this side of the third floor, you'll find our three year six classrooms. Down the end there, we have one of them. On my left here, we have the second year six classroom. And if you follow me through the glass doors, you'll see our third year six classroom. Further down the end, you'll find our library. So if you're looking for collecting some books or if you're needing help with research, then our teacher librarian and teacher assistant will be more than happy to help you. Let's head on over now to the next side where we take a look at our year three classrooms. On this side of the building, we have three of our four year three classrooms. Down the end, we have our year three geckos. On my right, we have our year three rattlesnakes. And I'd like to show you the year three turtles, so come on in. Have a look around. You'll notice that the walls are blank. And there's a good reason for that. That's because we're waiting for you. At Eaton House Broderick, we want our students to be agents for their own learning. We want you to be the ones to take charge and decide on what gets displayed in the classroom and the learning that you're showing. So that's why we've left them blank for you. Okay, that's enough from this floor. Let's head on up now to have a look at the last fourth floor. On this side of our fourth floor, you will find two of our year five classrooms. Down the end, we have our year five swordfish class. On my left, we have our year five sharks. And then over here, we have our purpose-built science lab. So this is for students to use in our primary school for everything hands-on science experiment wise. Now let's head on over here to the other side to check out the last lot of classrooms. On this side of the fourth floor, we have several different types of classrooms. Up here on the end, we have our year three chameleons. Let's go and take a look. So this is our year three chameleons class. It's one of our bilingual classes in the school. So let's take a look at the ICT room. Students in our primary school get to experience our science lab for one hour every week. Okay, moving on, we have our year five dolphins class here and down the end, we have our music room. So students in N2 to year six get to experience the music room and have music every single week with a trained music teacher. Welcome back to the ground floor. Here you'll find many of our language classrooms. Over near our parent liaison office, you'll find the Japanese classroom and the intensive English classrooms. Here by the river wing on the ground floor, you'll find our EAL and our Hindi classroom. You'll also find our inclusive education department. Now this is also the area for the parents pick up point for those students who are in preschool. If you have a child in N2 to year one, you'll pick up your child via this gate. Okay, let's head back now to the parent liaison office. Let's continue the tour now further out the back where we have our cafeteria, our school hall, and our playing area. Come with me, let's go this way. I'll just show you what's down this corridor. So we have some toilets on this side, boys and girls toilets, and also the bottom of this corridor, we have our care centre and in our care centre we have two qualified nurses so if you're feeling unwell or if you've had an accident while playing during playtime you'll be coming in here and our two very friendly and caring nurses will attend to you and look after you and contact your parents. So they're this way. So on your first day you'll be walking down this corridor and then you'll be lining up with your new classmates on the basketball field where your new homeroom teacher will be there to meet you and to register you and to do the safe entry. So you'll wait there for a few minutes and then your new homeroom teacher will escort you all 
with your new classmates to your new classroom. Let's go this way and see the school hall and where you'll be going to collect your lunch. Come this way. So you'll be lining up and you'll be following with, with your new classmates down this way and lining up and we'll enter the hall together here and we'll collect our snack in the morning and then lunch in the afternoon. So you'll collect your lunch here and then you'll be taking your lunch and eating it in your classroom. Good morning. So what's for lunch today? today we have teriyaki chicken for lunch. So it goes with a, a fruit and a salad and a drink. Well, thank you very much. Yeah, Looks welcome. very healthy. Five a day there. Yes, Plenty of, of vitamins and minerals. And it's also, there's also a non-vegetarian and a vegetarian yes. choice. So it looks very nice indeed. And it is tasty and I eat it every day as well. Thank so you. this is our school hall. Thank you so much. You're thank welcome. you so much. So this is our school hall. And I'll just put this down here. And you can see it's a wonderful space. And during the year, we use it for assemblies. Assemblies take place here every week. And also all our celebrations, our Chinese New Year celebration, and also our Diwali celebration, which happens later in the year. And lots of concerts and performances. Come this way. And the basketball court is very useful when it rains. So we've got this area to play in. We've also got this wonderful climbing frame there are small bikes there for the preschool children to use and then in the corner over there we have our adventure wooden playground which has a sand pit on the bottom and slides and swings and so forth for the children to play on during break times and we've also have a amazing green playing field at the back of the school uh, which is separated in different areas so children of different year groups and different ages can have a fun and exciting time during break times. Right at the far end of the school we have a new initiative which was designed and created and funded by our PSA and it's an, an inquiry adventure playground which is currently being built um, things have been delayed during the COVID-19, but hopefully we'll have that up and running as soon as possible. So at the end of the school day, you'll be walking with your classmates down the field and you'll be waiting in a line with your other classmates, a so social distancing, one meter apart line, where your parents will be waiting for you by the Avon Road gate, which is down there. And this is the arrangement for children in year two year three, year four, year five, and year six. For pupils in N2, K1, and year one, you'll be leaving by the front area of the school, by the river wing, by that small gate we showed you earlier. If you arrive in the morning by bicycle or scooter or with your parents on foot, you'll be leaving also from the front of the school. So I hope this video has been informative for you. I hope it's giving you a glimpse of your first day of school next week. We're really looking forward to welcoming you here to our special school, to Eaton House International School Broderick. It's a very special school indeed. It's a small school, but with a big hat. We look forward to seeing you next week. Goodbye.